Hello my friends, this is Tony with MTD Global and I have the great pleasure of being back at the Methods Precision Center in Acton, Massachusetts. Today I am here with my good friend Colin Gilchrist and we're going to learn a bit about this Yazda PX30i. Colin, can you tell us a little bit about what this machine is doing and some of the benefits? Absolutely. So welcome to Acton, uh, glad to have you here. So the PX30 is a machine that combines incredible precision with the automation and reliability of a lights out machine. So that's the idea behind it is you've got the Yazda precision and reliability combined with, you know, in this case of this particular machine option the way it is, 513 tools and 33 pallets. Wow, that is impressive. And when we're talking about accuracy, Yazda is very well known for that, but how accurate are these machines? So this particular machine's got a resolution of 0.1 microns. So when we're talking in terms of accuracy down at that level, not the machine is certainly capable of holding super tight tolerances, but then you've also got a bunch of other forces working against you. So you've got the heat that's being generated by the cut itself. You've got the temperature of the coolant. You've got the air temperature and you've got, you know, any uh, material handling that you're doing. So if you're holding a piece of metal in your hand and your hand's 98 degrees and the metal 70 degrees, you're going to get that temperature differential. So in our case, we're in our precision lab and we hold the temperature of this room to basically less than half a degree Fahrenheit over a 24 hour period. So by having that incredibly tight control over the temperature, we're able to hold some really, really tight uh, precision tolerances with this machine. And part of uh, proving that to our customers is we actually have our Zeiss CMM just over my shoulder here in the same room, but completely isolated on a different pad. So the idea behind that is we're using, we're measuring in the same environmental conditions as we're cutting. So different, different actual machine doing the measuring, which is you know, an important part of validation, but we're able to hold very, very tight tolerances um, for our customers in this room and hopefully show them what it takes to do the same in their facility. Uh, and you know, depending on what kind of tolerances they've got to hold, they may not need to go to quite this level, but by going to this level of you know, extreme HVAC control, you really get the ability to dial in the exact temperature that everything is being cut and measured at. That is so incredibly impressive. I mean, Yazda on its own is a fantastic machine, but now you're talking about all the elements that go around it. I would like to learn more about this pallet pool over here. Can you tell me how many pallets it is and the capability of maybe running lights out? You can switch from job to job. Um, is there an accuracy of the pallet pool as well? Can you tell us a bit more about that? Sure, so the pallet pool itself has 33 pallets. There's actually 35 stations, but two of those stations act as the exchange stations for when the pallets are shuttling in and out of the machine with the robot. Uh, there's an operator station uh, that's just over my shoulder here. And the operator station is really where that lights out magic happens. So the way this machine is set up uh, an operator is going to come in and begin calling pallets that have run overnight into the operator station. They're going to unload the finished work pieces and load new raw material blanks. Uh, you know, depending on what their work holding is, they may be loading a single piece or multiple pieces onto a single pallet and then shuttling them back into the machine and using the pallet management software to flag those pallets as ready for action. Right, so they're ready for uh, a tool to be put on them and ready to cut another part. And so you can, you know, depending on uh, the mix of your work and, and how many parts, the operator may be changing out every single pallet in the morning, you know, in a you know, kind of a sequential order, or they may be coming in and only doing a few because you, you, know, you had some long running parts and so four parts were done overnight and now you're coming in and exchanging those. And the cool thing about having the pallets, a lot of our customers don't necessarily have all of them full. They've got a few pallets that are set aside and reserved for that hot 
interrupt job that comes up and the software on the machine makes it really easy to uh, assign what, they, you, what you can think of as an interrupt palette. So a palette that you want to run next in the schedule so whatever is in the machine finishes, it gets done, and then it'll go and grab that next kind of interrupt palette and run that immediately. So if you got something that you really need to get on the machine as soon as possible, as soon as whatever you're done cutting is finished, it'll go and grab that new one. You taught me something new today. I appreciate that because sure. there is always a job that comes in, right? Even if yeah. we think we're running for the next week, something comes in that's an emergency. So oh, great forward thinking from the guys at Yazda to put this together. Um, so we've talked about lights out automation. We've talked about precision, but what about reliability? Right, okay. So um, as far as reliability goes, um, these machines just run and run. Uh, you know, you set them up and take your time obviously and make sure you've got an error-free program but once you get to that stage uh, they, they have some pretty unique features that make them reliable for example um, on this particular spindle there's a preload that happens so when you fire up the machine it goes through this process where it preloads the spindle so as you're running at these different RPMs it's going to repeat to the same level of precision and the same location every time that you run it. That is impressive. So what are we running today? So today we're doing uh, a nice little demo part and this particular one is a turbine blade. It's made out of 17-4 stainless steel and we are, uh, part of what we decided to do with this particular demo was to try out uh, a new circle segment tool from Emugi mm -hmm. and see what we could do to test uh, surface finishing. So we've got uh, a ten, well, it's a 10 millimeter diameter uh, shank with a two millimeter uh, diameter tip, and then it's got a 50 millimeter radius uh, that's kind of built into the little side of the tool itself. And so um, we wanted to test out this new tooling technology from Amugi. Amugi is a great product. I've worked with them for quite a few years as well. Um, do you have an example of the part that we're running in the machine? Sure. So this is uh, an example of the material blank and we've set up the process similar to the way our customers do it which is to cut um, the fir tree at the base of the turbine and then we load it into our machine and this particular process we're roughing and finishing with only two tools. Um, we could have added more tools to the process but in this in this case um, you know, we were able to completely rough and finish it with those two tools and hit all the features that we wanted to hit. Uh, and one of the things you'll see when it comes off the machine, we cut the turbine blade itself the way that our customers would, but then we added something special to this. We, uh, we took uh, an image of uh, the Greek symbol uh, mu, which is the micron symbol in metrology, and we machined it into the face of the turbine blade one micron deep which is a pretty impressive feat. That is super impressive, and I think I've said that a few times now, so it's becoming redundant, but the truth stands out that it, everything that you guys are doing here, from, from the air temperature to the machines to the floors, um, it is incredibly impressive. It is worth seeing, and you know the reliability, the precision, the automation, this is your all-inclusive machine. It seems to have all the bells and whistles to really, to really create success for your customers. Well, and that's really the name of the game for what we're doing. Um, you know, as, as impressive as it is to have all this, uh, you know, this great precision lab and room to house the machine in, the reason we do it is to show our customers how to get to that next level of precision. So, you know, that's the kind of, of thing that we can use to train our customers. So when they want to check out the machine, we can do the test cuts for them. We can help them develop their processes. And then when they want to you know, get trained on the machine, we can bring them in or go to their facility. Uh, one of the things we're working on right now, which is actually um, pretty exciting, for our applications department, we're working on a remote training kit where we're actually gonna box up a set of cameras and microphones, a couple of GoPros, basically all the things you'll need to be able to enable communication and training over the internet. And so what we've, what we've uh, arranged for is basically to have one of our uh, machines set up at 
one of our centers, you know, anywhere across North America, and then to team with an applications engineer at that location to offer training for a customer on their machine, only we're using what's essentially a facsimile, a facsimile of their machine, you know, uh, an exact model, same model, same control, and that way we can set up our test piece, they can set up their test piece, and then we walk them through what we're doing on our machine and explain to them, and if they have questions, they can we can see them touching the button and see the results on their control display and know exactly what they're doing and help them through and you know help them to develop their processes and learn their machine. That sounds revolutionary, it really does, and I hope you guys will call me in to do a demo for that as well, because that sounds like a lot of fun for me. Um, Absolutely. So. If, if someone wants to get in touch with you, Colin, and you know, call you up and say, hey guys, I really need some help on this part, or I'm really curious about a machine, or I'm really curious if your machine can run these parts for me, how can someone find you guys, get in touch with you, so that they can utilize this facility as well? Sure, so um, the first step is either our website, uh, methodsmachine.com, or to reach out to their local uh, Methods salesman if they already have a relationship with the Methods company. Um, you know, we always like to get our sales guys involved right at the beginning. Um, you know, I'm happy to always, you know, talk shop and uh, talk about machines and capabilities and features. Uh, but we're really big at methods on involving all the right players in the process. So I've actually worked at other, uh, you know, machine tool dealers that did not have quite the same level of mm, support and backup that we do at Methods. So we've got automation engineers, control engineers, design engineers, um, basically everybody who can either sell you the machine you want or work hand in hand with you to develop a turnkey process where we can come in and you know not only develop uh, a part and process, but prove it out, bring you in to witness it, and then set it up on your shop floor and have you making money uh, at the end of that exchange. And that's, you know, that's what it's really about for our customers. You know, the, the precision and the reliability and the automation lend itself to making money. And, you know, that's, that's the name of the game in, in machine tools. I think you've nailed it, Colin, and you're right. Uh, the the solution-based salesman is, is something we need, and you guys have done a fantastic job of making sure that your customers now and future customers are going to be supported to your point you also offer an extensive training program when required as well for some situations like this, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, we, we're capable of offering both um, in-person on-site training, remote training, and we even have a, a full, uh, very large training room that's set up in Sudbury at our main facility. So we can, um, you know, if there's a, a company with a large number of customers and or maybe they've got multiple people in different facilities around the world and they want to all get them together in one room to do training. We have that as available as a resource as well. That's really cool, that's really cool. So thank you so much for being a part of this and talking with MTD Global. Yazda, we know the machine. Now we understand the details of it a little bit more. So thank you for, so much for sharing your wisdom with me and for everyone else. Oh, you're welcome, Tony. So glad to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you.